Got uh, additional ones moving into that area. I got a possible Zeus moving back in there. Using the suppression capabilities of the A-10 and the rest of the strike package to sanitize the area, two HH-60G Pavehawk helicopters ingress at low altitude. Their mission is to recover an Allied pilot down behind enemy lines. U.S. Air Force HH-60s modified for combat rescue have an unrefueled combat radius of 250 miles, which can be extended by air refueling from C-130 tanker aircraft. The lead aircraft uses the fast rope to insert two pararescue specialists to secure and treat the survivor. After ensuring the area is clear to land, the Paypox will set down to recover the team. Jolly, Sandy 1. Sandy, Jolly, go. That's your loud and clear. Fisher 5-2, pop smoke. Sandy, rifling in two columns of vehicles about four clicks north of your survivor. We're looking for the uh, smoke. Sandy 2, come uh, back around. Take the uh, targets to the east. Pitch is in on the targets in the east. Sandy rifle, I see uh, 12 vehicles, 12 vehicles moving south. Okay, copy that. Sandy, uh, Dark Star's looking for an uh, update on the survival. Got me, PJ's on the ground. Dark Star Rifle, uh, Sandy passes it. Uh, PJ's are on the ground, condition is good. Gonna be picking up in approximately uh, one minute. Gonna be uh, one minute. Joey's taking fire, target's north. All in southeast, I got theirs in sight. Copy, let's lay down some uh, covering fire. Rifle, I can request. I got uh, two F-16s and four hogs uh, if you need them. My jolly's on the deck. And Snake Rifle, I need uh, diversionary attack on that uh, first target as brief. You're cleared in. Keep all fires east of the lake bed. How copy? Jolly, 30 seconds. Taking fire from the north. 200 meters more. Rifle, piece. I got uh, all the smokes left, Sandy. I'll put what I got down. Sandy, come to the 30 seconds. Sandy, two, you got those fist mounts to the uh, north of the survivor. Sandy 2 is telling us to spread the truck. Dark Star is one of their status survivors. About 10 seconds. Copy. Dark Star, you copy. Sandy, survivor. Rapid, you copy. We are successful egressing. Sandy, let's go. Amazing change. Dolly, you're going to there. The Pavehawk is capable of day or night operations at very low altitude. It is outfitted with a forward-looking infrared system, highly accurate navigation systems, and night vision equipment. By exploiting these night capabilities, the HH-60 can avoid a significant portion of the threat and capitalize on surprise and confusion of the enemy forces. The Allied aviator is safely aboard and will be returned to his unit to fight another day. The ability of the future joint team to achieve dominant battlefield awareness depends heavily on the ability of the Air Force's air and space-based assets to provide global awareness, intelligence, communications, weather, and navigation support. While information superiority is not the Air Force's sole domain, it remains an Air Force core competency. Providing full spectrum dominance requires a truly interactive common battle space picture. The Air Force delivers this with a variety of systems, including the Predator unmanned aerial vehicle. Able to loiter for over 24 hours, 500 miles from its base, the Predator provides a responsive capability to conduct wide area, near real-time reconnaissance, surveillance, and target acquisition for the joint forces. 
Using electro-optical infrared sophisticated radar sensors, the Predator improves the commander's situational awareness while minimizing risk to human life. The Joint Surveillance Target Attack Radar System, or JSTARS, proved its utility in the Gulf War, detecting the movement of Iraqi formations. For today's scenario, the JSTARS has used its moving target indicator and synthetic aperture radar to detect a column of armored vehicles moving to engage Joint Forces. The Joint Force Commander orders the column stopped. JSTARS relays targeting information, including near real-time imagery, to a flight of F-15E Strike Eagles on airborne alert. The capability to provide real-time information in the cockpit from airborne or spaceborne sensors to the air crews dramatically shortens the targeting cycle. Time-critical attacks can be meted against such fleeting targets as Scud missiles and is one of the most dramatic applications of Air Force information superiority. With sophisticated avionics and a two-man crew, the F-15E Strike Eagle is well suited to airborne tasking. Although normally armed with precision weapons, today the F-15E Strike Eagles will each be carrying four 2,000-pound bombs. For heavily defended targets, the F-15E can employ weapons from outside the range of many ground-to-air threats. Using remote data link, the Strike Eagle crew can guide penetrating warheads to within feet of the target. Now, from your right, the F-15Es, with a handoff from J-STARS, will stop the movers. The ability of the Air Force to rapidly attack anywhere on the globe at any time is unique. The military utility of air power, in particular its speed, range and flexibility, prompted the creation of the Air Force as a separate service 50 years ago. Air Force bombers provide versatile, responsive combat power, able to intervene decisively when necessary. Demonstrating precision and power, two B-1B Lancers, each carrying 48 500-pound general-purpose bombs, have flown non-stop from Ellsworth Air Force Base, South Dakota. The B-1B Lancer is as fast as many fighters. It has 10 times the range and 5 times the payload. Now, from your right, the B-1B Bomber. Please direct your attention to the big screen for a replay.